Welcome back. Welcome. It's been quite the amount of time. Yes, very many time here at the channel of what are we? Do we remember who we weird are? Games. That's us. Weird games. Doing our thing. All right. Papa Weird. And Weirdling. In the house, representing um, Barbarian Ben. Ben? Bill? I forgot. What? Well, Dale. Depends who it is. Which one? We only got one at the moment. The others are upstairs there. Um, and? Gus. Great. We remember how to do that. We do introductions here on the channel. Oh, my God. All right. Um, so where were we? Where you were? Sick. The whole family yeah. came down. We're all like, uh, the like that. Yeah, in bed. We 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 couldn't even do recording because I couldn't speak. Yeah, yeah. This one lost his voice, Ethan. So we had to wait until his voice was good enough to talk about stuff, and just to be able to draw things up and go ahead. That was about three or four days ago. Um, and then your voice was still a bit iffy and I was coughing a lot as well. So we left it off a little bit longer and here we are. Hopefully Hello. we'll get through without coughing and stuff. So instead of doing like a, a you know, I thought a normal episode, I thought we'd do it like we did for the, uh, for the, about March, we did the moving. We had to do a big catch up, mm -hmm. right? That was a couple months ago, right? Well, we're there again. We're doing a catch up. So we pretty much have, let me see. All of, uh, very good, ice water, yes. I have uh, green tea, all right. I think this is, is this one of the last of my, um, what are they, they, what did I say these were? Buckwheat, right? Green, green tea. Uh, not green tea, these ones, buckwheat tea. Mm. And it's caught on my microphone. Oh my gosh, it's rebelling. All right, great. Uh, so yeah, we have done pretty much a whole month where we got up to before we left was, was about yeah. here. Yeah. The 19th or the 20th with the vampire forest, right? Um, so we had to draw all that up. We went to the book here, the art studio page book, whatever. It's not in there anymore. I've already taken it out in that. Yeah, um, because right. we, yes, because, oh, look, this is where we're at. We are, um, in our catch up talking about our second and third book all right so where were we get all three out uh i was looking through it and working with it all right oh. i'll put it off to the side but we are pretty much going to start talking about it from here so where they all we left the manor house right okay so when they came into uh this realm yeah they came in um via the manor house which was like the opposite of the uh the boss house from the Jehanna, right the loft dimension. sure 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 so um the manor house so i don't think i drew i'd drawn these up last time before we talked about the vampires the last episode yeah. was talking about vampires so we had the manor house and the gardens and where they led led to they were quite a religious folk because they had a their own chapel with a conservatory on the side and their own little graveyard um and let's see how'd that turn out so that's our uh what was this oh that's right they had a barn all right they had a workhouse and a barn okay and that's where you had your um the skeleton uh aurochs right so there's some skeleton aurochs in there okay so uh this family that inhabited this manor and and this religious family here they were alternate dimensional um singular god worshiping bunny people they were harangons or har harangans 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 look i found those over here too i was looking those up as well so that that's these ones you want to show these people off all right so they, they 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 were herring yeah that, that they're they're hair people rabbit people lots of hair on them um you so yeah so they they hairs. were living here doing their thing um and then their household and their um and their plantation all got sucked into an alternate dimension so of yeah the elder brain. of the elder brains yeah they sort of own this dimension why they took these um Her 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 people and nobody decided knows. to yeah nobody knows but 
the idea is that in the manor house you would see pictures of the family you know right you'd have a portrait and it might be all ruined and vandalized and stuff right like there's been beasts that have rah, scratched it and stuff um but you could or make out a heart. blood on it sure you could make out the family you'll see the father one there all stern wow. and religious looking right and then there's the mother one who's looking like a mother and then there's the son and the daughter right we're looking like sons, sons and, and daughters. daughters great sure we're very descriptive here all right um so they're quite pious people they have their own church they got they got a little family graveyard plot um and remember that after you left there and you're trying to work out where you're going then you end up instead of like going backwards they had the moat this one they had like a big empty nothingness of about like oh, yeah. what 120 feet 180 feet so you could you could play with that depending on what your party could reasonably get across i mean if they can just cast south. fly south no that no no it's not south by south by south they're five foot by five foot it's to represent that there's a, a golf there a rather large empty nothingness right? i didn't know you could play golf and empty nothingness. uh wrong golf um so and then we had after that so once they've crossed here they're sort of going through what is what would have been forestry and like um a country path like a roadway uh down through the the forest to get to the this manor and plantation right between the the parts of the property and the land you know and it's sort of like that forest out of um uh the hobbit where they were warned by Gandalf, don't get off the path, you'll get lost, you might never find it again, bad things are going to happen. And we do, in fact, have the spiders here at the end of the book, right? That was, the you know, the nether spiders that were waiting in the path anyway, right? So whether they go off the path or not, they're getting spiders, all right? They get spiders. Um, they, they were, what, CR3s? They weren't very odd, but there was a, a few of them, right? How many we put Nine. in there? Nine or something? Yeah, sure. Um, so they could harass and, and, um, harry someone. Okay. So when we came over here, where, okay, this, that's right. We left the forest. Eventually they came out and the forest gets eaten up by a giant moor, like, a you know, um, where they level up? sure, uh, they will. Yeah. They will have to level up here. So they'll definitely be, what was it? 12 by now, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is the June, right? This is where they're at the swampy banks. Yeah. On yep. the 15th. Sure. Um, they would definitely be four level 12. Okay. All right. That's right. I haven't written it in yet though. On my, on my major planner. I have a major planner with just one word for each of the rooms here. All right. So I haven't written it in quite there, but yeah, definitely level 12 now. All right. Um, which is how they're going to have to handle. Yeah. Once they get across this, they're in the swamp. Okay. And level 12. And in the swamp, it's got like different sort of, um, name. Oh. pathways that sort of sit just under the water surface. And some of them sort of lead off to dead ends and some of them are the path to follow through. But and, you can't see Yeah, that's why you need the ranger there with the big stick sort of pushing and going, oh, yeah, this is safe. Oh, this is safe. Oh, this is safe. Like the and then, piranhas? like, sure. Well, did we put scaly piranhas in? I'm not sure if I went back and found scaly piranhas anywhere. They're, they're just like, what? you could just swat it with sure, your thing and then sure. they die. They are a quarter or probably even a one An at this eight. point. Um, they just, sure. They just, they just do a deep. But then you have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of them. No, no, no. Every every turn, like two or two or three of them. All right. Like well, them. I'm not sure where we would write that. So that's on the shallow path. So you'd have to write somewhere in here. Every somewhere somewhere in the swamp, somewhere in the swamp equals the skelly piranhas. All right, sure. They're yeah. Quarter to an eighth creatures. Yeah, right? they only do With a D4 deep four damage. Wide. Sure, but there's lots of them. Yeah. Okay, you want you want those to harass people when they get off the path? Sure. Okay, maybe they fall, they go down the wrong way, the one that says to nowhere, and then they fall into a giant gap of water, like the path sort of like sludges out from underneath them, and then scaly piranhas. Right? That's like how you throw it out. Twenty. Them. All right, sure, twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nung, 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 nung. All right, blame it on the ranger. Okay, so inside the swamp, we got a giant evil tree with baby uh, treants, right? Little thralls. Okay, um, and, and the they have daemon. they have uh, sorry. And the daemon oak. Yeah, daemon oak. All right. So we've been through the well. 
the Loths aren't, the Ugoloths aren't essentially demons or devils. They're, they're their own thing. But sure, we got, and now we have a dame and oak, all right, so a devil tree. And over here, oh, that's right, we had a, uh, a hermit living in the swamps, all right. They know about the, um, you know, the illithid. They know about the evil elder brain off in the abbey somewhere. And the vampires. Um, they know about the vampires, and they're just hiding out here. And the only way they hide out is because they're, what, disembodied, right? That's right, they're disembodied. So they can switch over to the ethereal plane, like they have an escape anytime someone really comes, but it's only temporary, right? And they usually use it not to uh, like attack people, but to escape them, okay? Um, and they get a really high, yeah, they get a really high, uh, high perception trap door that they hide under, like a trap door spider, right? That, that, that has their little like dug out burrow in there so they can hide and escape. Otherwise, it just looks like they've wandered into, like, you know, another different junction of go this way or maybe go that way, but make sure you don't go that way, right? That, that's nowhere. That's There's nowhere that, that way. No that's well, somewhere. somewhere. And then the this way well i think and they come from that way and they want to go this way but if they go that way there's nothing there and if they go that way maybe there's somewhere there like the tree or something there's right something i'm right. not sure eventually they're uh, with the spiders eventually they're going to get to the other side the murder horror beast and they're gonna yeah yeah the what do you say that you think they look mostly like like horses. stags horses yeah yeah sure equines of some variety what's an equine a horse oh. um so, uh, yeah, sure. Um, and what was there? Four of them: a red, a grey, yeah. a black, and a white. Sure. What are they called? Quaxeries. Boxer. Okay, and they guard. This is where the actual plantation starts. This is what the family would have owned. They got their manor house where they live, but their actual land holdings were an actual plantation where they had uh, different tree orchids. That are now the um the crumble fruit, right? Crumble fruit. Yeah. They fall away. In they time, they yeah. can live on the sadness of the crumble fruit. Uh, okay, sure. If you want to try and live on the sadness of the crumble fruit, sure. Maybe someone, maybe the druid can take one and not have it fall away because they have like the magical touch and then they might want to eat it and it tastes like sadness and it, sorrow. It just tastes and like awesome. coal. And, co and coal. What does coal taste? You mean like. Coal, coal. Fully, fully charred coal. Like charcoal. Yeah. Ah, oh, yuck. That's, you know, that's what they used to, like, brush teeth with back yeah. in the day. Sure, great. They still used to brush teeth with. Uh, yeah, why would you? Yeah, yeah, apparently. Anyway, let's, let's, let's not talk about that. We're not dentists. What do we know? Um, anyway, so on the other side of that, they got this long road, right? This is where the, the roadway would have gone and it, it looks, um, proper, like a proper roadway. There's, um, actual fences with like, uh, little, you know, the fence, uh, blocks of cement right so this is a manufactured the mortared the stone pillars. wall dun, right dun, dun, yeah little pillars dun. that's it okay with the, with the and um yeah when you sort of reach when you sort of touch land there out of the swamp it's like a signal trap to them right the second you set uh, set foot on dry land you're gonna hear the howl of these things, right? Okay. Um, no. <laughs> Howly nay. I don't know. Poor people out there listening to this. Um, <laughs> sure. Okay. So on the other side of that, we had. Okay. So you follow down that roadway. Eventually, you're gonna get to their to their orchid. Their orchid, right? So the orchid. Or, 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 orchid. Awkward. Spit the word. Awkward. Yeah. Spit the words out. I think I do need a water too. Let me have a drink. The plantation with their various orchards, okay? And on this plantation, this is the part where the vampires have actually moved into and infested, all right? We, this is where we drew them up last time on our two pages. And I've gone through and added more stuff and tried to add stats and added some subclasses and stuff like that. But we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. But the general uh, outline of this place is that there's um, there's a, a big longhouse that the family, the plantation workers, would have lived in. Uh, they have a barn where they would have done their manufacturing and their storage and their equipment were in. They have a little hedge garden over here with some flower rows and stuff and a pavilion that they can the, the barbarians can sit around with Gus as they discuss um, how they're going to find and kill the vampires. All right, there's yeah. a there's a pond over here that's not actually a pond of water. It's a, it's a blood pond. But don't tell right. them. 
that's a secret entrance. Well, that's it. Yeah, we, this is the thing. We haven't talked about that, okay? So the idea is that we have done for the the um for the plantation area and for the the next section of the abbey where the elithids and the, the elder brain dwell. All right, we've we've done it that they have an original overlay like what was the original holding, so the the longhouse, the barn, the gardens, the pond, and um and a and a big old family tree, right? That would have been um where they had their swing and they would have pushed their kids and played swing and had happy times, right? So all of that is now corrupted and like the longhouse now, or well, actually, where do we start? The next one was actually, I think the, the blood pool. Okay. So we'll skip over those for a second. We've already had a whole video pretty much talking about vampires, but we'll come back to it. So we have a blood pool, all right, and it's just a great big pond, which had a deck on it that, you know, you could have gone and sat and had picnics and stuff, right? But instead of all water, it is now um, just blood, blood, right? Okay, and not even good blood that the vampires want to drink, like a yucky sort of congealed, thick, icky, with stuff murky growing in its murky blood, yeah. Okay, it you wouldn't donate this stuff. Murky. All right, and that's where we had what horror flit swarms. All right, so that's Animal. right. Yeah, yeah, they were like little creatures made out of like blood and goo and horror. That's why they're called the the horror flit. And these things right? can. And, these um, things are schmoovin'. All right, yeah. This they, we, they, they we go probably like, should have brought up some of these creatures, right? Can not talk about them? Um, should I bring it up, the horror flit swarm? Uh, well, I don't think... Actually, do you know what? I don't think there was one that was actually a photo of those. Remember, them? a lot of them didn't actually have an image of what they looked like. I'm they were just sure a stats box. Uh, yeah, this one could, had an image. You could look for it. Okay. What? Was they were on that they were on that other one there, right? Grim Probably Hollow. on the other one. Uh, I think in that Grim Hollow there. Uh, and I think they were in horror flit. You, you could control F it or go back to the beginning of the book. You know how to control F, fine, yeah. right? And then just put yeah. flit in and see if it comes up with anything. I think it was that book. Anyway, yeah, they're like bloody goopy creatures that swarm together um, that want to come out of the, the bloody goop water when someone comes and looks at it a little bit too close or if they sit around the deck and think oh this is a great place to have like a talk and make plans and stuff and and find the vampires from because they won't want to come out of here um and then yet you have these creatures that live under the surface of the water ready to nom 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 all right did you, did you find them? Are they in that book? Yep. Is that what they look like? Was this that... is what they look like. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, I suppose you could, you could, they look fishy enough creatures, right? They, they do be schmoovin'. They have different things. It looks like they got alien mouth, like xenomorph mouth. They, they on can them, move sort of 120 feet. Uh, in the in the water, is no, that a no. swim speed or a move speed? Uh, move speed, swim speed, and a climb speed. Oh, they got, they, that's right. Sure. I then they live in here. Moving. Yeah, yeah, great. They're, they're scary then, all right? Yeah. They're very quick. There's a lot of little ones, and they want to nom 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 you out of the yucky bloody stuff. All right. Uh, okay. Then what was over here? Oh, this is where we had. <coughs> See a bit of coughing here. Sorry. <coughs> mm. Also, another reason why we didn't want to go live in case I have too much of a coughing fit <laughs> at any point today, and I just want to record it or cut stuff out or do anything productive with editing ever. Um. Sorry about that. So the next the next one was that we did up was the evil tree. All right. So we got an evil tree in a paddock. Where's the, the overall picture? Over in the, the bottom corner here, like the, if we were doing it by south, uh, western corner, there's a there's a big tree. And underneath it, at the back, is a, is a burrow. DC 20 to find it. Not not too hard for the guys at, the, at this point. Um, but, yeah, this is this is where the um, the, the young, the brother, the brother bunny, all right, the blood bunny, Blood brother bunny brother of the brethren. All right. No, 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 not that song. We don't have enough fingers. We have, that's five fingers. We only got four. All right. One of them was chewed off. Um, okay. So this is where they are fed the different kinds of blood. So the idea is that the elithids, under the under the um, direction of the elder brain, to make these these guard dog family of um, bunny vampires, fed them different kinds of vampire blood that they'd um, experimented on and and. Um, taken so we had the one with the catacan blood this is the one that turned real savage and bestial right this is one that's a barbarian yeah. in the the path of the beast all right and, and has a tail now sure can have a tail um some bunnies have tails anyway they're little fluffy things 
Did you know that? Yeah. Right? And then some, uh, yeah, I've seen bunnies with tails, no, no doubt. Yeah, so, yeah. So, when, so when they do the tail reaction, they just turn 180 degrees and just stab you with their little bunny tail. Sure, you have to make it a little bit longer and pointed. Maybe have a, like a scorpion sort of like, you know how kittens, you see they got that cute paw, but then you press on the top of it and the sharp little um the talon comes out yeah let's like, just make that with a sure tail. sure it's got one of those in his tail all right so it's living um under the it's, tree it's, it's living under the tree this one has um oh that's right blood scent which is a kind of echo location um within range of of um i think it was 120 feet i think oh no sorry it was bigger than that it must have been bigger than that um, but yeah, it, uh, it, it has a blood scent, um, and can smell and hear within, um, a greater range than the other ones. Okay. This is their guard dog, um, version. Okay. This one's not so smart. Okay. But is quite strong and quick. Quite okay. buff. Sure. Uh, then we had, so, so that's sitting under this tree. Now I was going to draw in the burrow. That's what this page is meant to be, but I'd already drawn one burrow. So I wasn't going to redraw the burrow. His burrow is like quite small, but it's full of all like dead things and smells and rotting carcasses of creatures that might not be recognizable or identifiable. You should give everybody this in this campaign okay. a, a phobia. Like maybe well, they might have one by the end of it. Maybe some people bring their own phobias in. That's, you never know exactly what's going to set someone off. Some people can be like, oh, body horror and gore. There's a room. I imagine it. Oh, I'm right there right now. It's so horrible. Oh, oh, I got the shiveries. Oh, there's corpses everywhere. And some people are like, oh, that doesn't bother me. But you just told me that all of the, um, the, the, uh, scorpions and spiders are starting to crawl out of the holes and I was trying to go down that burrow this is the point Un underneath this whole area here there are burrows and tunnels yeah, that that um, link up all of the different uh, rooms that the bunnies are inhabiting under these houses right so um, there's a burrow underneath that pavilion there's a burrow underneath that tree there's a burrow under that barn there's a burrow under the longhouse and they're all connected by tunnels all right so um, if you might want to draw them out because you don't want to get stuck down one of these burrows and then all of a sudden you hear out of one of the other tunnels the skittering noise really quick of a fastly approaching daddy vampire right now you have to fight him in the tunnel in the tunnel that's right you're halfway down and there's like the tunnel could be five six seven hundred feet long right and your movement's only 30 to 60 feet at best right one or more, one tunnel fight. yeah yeah that's it you give me caught and you're like go back go back go back i hear it coming i hear it coming and then everybody's like and then you've got someone at the back of the tunnel and their movement's only like 20 feet and, you know, and then so you've got these people trying to like crawl over each other, get out of the way of the vampire that's coming down a tunnel. All right. So you either draw them out or you go down into one tunnel and find where that burrow is and you clear that one out. Right. Okay. So that reminds me of the that one vent scene in Poseidon. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Well, that, that's the idea. Some people just get, that's enough, the claustrophobia. What do you mean you're telling me I'm in a five foot hole, uh, foot hole and we got to crawl? What do you mean it doesn't end and it just keeps going on? What, what do you mean I hear a sound of something coming? I just want to be out of it. And it's like, well, and then you got the druid that's like, I just shape, uh, you know, I'm shape change into a, a beast Snake. that has a burrowing and I just burrow out. I see you later. Someone has um, earth move, right? They can move through the earth, right? The wizard just is like, ah, oh, peace, I'm out of here, and teleports to, like, wherever, you know? And, and um, then they the all leave you in there. the snake. Sh sure, he's like, snake. totally, yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm just a snake Bye -bye. vampire, bro. Don't worry about me, right? So anyway, we got to borrow, and they're all connected by tunnels under here. Okay, so what have we got in the house? So the house is where the mama, the mama lives. She's got her burrow underneath, right? It's underneath the study at the back corner, uh, on the bottom corner here. So you, you come in the entryway, right? So there's a, a roadway here that goes uh, off to the barn way, connects between the front of the house and the barn, right? So you can get off your veranda, all right? There's a porch here, right? I'm not quite sure what people call it. We call it verandas, but anyway. Um, and so you come into the entryway. It's got a, it's just a small house with a kitchen and a dining room. It's, uh, it's empty other than on the on the top floor over here we got a top floor did you go back to oh yeah good good we didn't see that on the top floor we have a, a bathroom and a bedroom and another bedroom right and up here uh um what was would have been the old family all right so what do we got we got um corp corpse walkers all right did you find those those were in the in the on the thing there weren't okay. they did we put a, a page number in for those 
Um, corpse walkers. Did I even have them on this piece of paper still? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah, page 70. Are they okay. CR6s and 10s, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, um, page 70 in that Grim, uh, Grim Hollow Monster Walker. Manual, right? So, was there a picture of one of those? No? Um, it just describes them? Sure. Yeah. They're nasties. All right. And they're, they're living in Horton in this house. And, um, you know, if you uh, disturb the mother in the house, they'll probably come down and attack you. Otherwise, they'll kind of wait. They'll be haunting up in one of the bedrooms ready to pounce on you. There's a there's an ancient in there and a, and a, um, and a regular one, right? So CR6 and a CR10. I mean, that shouldn't be too much of a problem or a fight for uh, the party. But I mean, um, they're multi-attack. Sure. That's what, and if they if they come with the the mother vampire, you know, if if they sort of like fight the mother vampire downstairs, and then all of a sudden it's like you give them a round or two, you're like, ah, oh, you think you hear some movement up the stairs? You probably want to finish off the mother vampire now, or you might want to like either investigate that mid fight or take it outside. But you hear something, right? And at that point, it's like you know everybody's like, ah, oh, no, what do you mean we've got ads? Ah, oh, I just thought we were fighting mother vampire bunny. All right, don't get to be that lucky. Okay, so mother, anyway, mother bunny. see, she though, mother, mother bunny. All right, mother bunny has under the house here. Let's move, move our friends across her here. Burrow. She has a burrow, and in her burrow, let's put the paperwork out of the way here. And in her burrow, she's got like a little lab set up. She's a sorcerer, right? Didn't I say she'd be a sorcerer? Let's have a look. Uh, over here on the page on the day, yeah, sorcerer. Ah, and I had a look through. She's uh, actually in the player handbook. Uh, for the Grim Hollow, it's got class subclass options. So I took one of those. She's she's haunted, so she has her own ghosty as well that follows her around. Remember, you played that haunted character yeah, in that I little three thing. Characters. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. But one of them and was haunted and had a ghost, like a little specter, right? As Very. A familiar. Cool. Yeah, it can be useful, right? So she can leave that there. She can have the the ghosty haunting upstairs, uh, you know, uh, in the first floor. Uh, as a warning, and then the mo while the mother is downstairs eating or fe you know feeding and stuff, or is just having a sleep, um, nah. yeah, sure, or doing because okay, this is this is her lab, so she's got like a workbench and cauldrons and bookcases, okay, so this is where you're gonna, you're gonna find some if, loot. There actually can be loot in here, all right. There'll be some treasure into the mother bunny's cave, and the mother bunny just. So happens to be looking through her spectacle. That's what I mean. Like they can, they'll be like doing exploration, and then they might like all of a sudden be like, "I think we're being watched." You know, I feel like there's feel something the like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Like, are we being watched? And then like you just hear like a voice emanate through the house: "Leave my abode, or I will chomp on you like <laughs> carrot stick." Sure, sure. You know, when I think about these bunnies as being vampires, I'm, I'm thinking, like, uh, you might not know it, but Count Duckula was a kid, uh, was a show, a cartoon when I was a kid. And um, Count Duckula was, it was meant to, a family of vampire ducks throughout the generations were, the way they become vampires, they fed a potion, like a blood potion, but this one turned out to be carrot juice instead of blood. So it turned out to be a vegetarian Count Duckula. And um, it's it's great, right? That that whole premise. So I kind of imagine something along the lines of this, you know, except that these ones aren't vegetarians um, and, and they will eat you and they're bunnies instead. I'm, I'm just imagining, but, uh, what's his name? Bugs Bunny. Yes, Bugs Bunny. As a, as a mm. vampire. Yes, I think that's been in a movie. That he's dressed up like a Count, like um, Count Dracula before in that sort but of like cloak. a primal vampire. Yeah, yeah, sure. Gorn, I think there's been another one where he's gone rabid too, where he's turned into a creature, where they feed him a potion and he turns rabbit and goes into a creature. He, he turns all Jekyll? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like a bit like Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, I think it's like that. You're right. And um, so I think if uh, I might have to have a look for that. But yeah, 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 very much like that. Bugs Bunny gone evil, Jekyll. All right. So there's the mother, bu there's the mother burrow. And, and the sister in the oh, barn. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay, so we got a barn. So sister's got a barn. This is the one that got um, bitten by the, oh, not bitten, uh, got transformed by the blood of a uh, varg heist, right? This is the flying one, isn't it? So this one can do dive yeah, attacks so and flybys and stuff. 
Yeah. Right. And so it's going to hang out in the, there's a loft. Okay. So we've got a barn here. All right. And in the, and in the back of the, the uh, barn um, is a loft that sort of is half the size of the barn. So what's that? Like 10, 15, 20, it's like, uh, 25, 30 feet wide by, five, you know, 10, 15 feet um, long. Hold on, should be the other way around. 25, 30 feet long by about 10, 15 feet wide, right? And there's a loft up there. And she kind of sits up there and hides, waiting like a big mama spider, like ready to sort of pounce out of the shadows up in the loft and eat you. Because then she'll drag you from the loft, right? So she's hiding up in this, this lofty area up here. And she'll drag you down in through the office and underneath the, the office table in the office room here is where her burrow is. So she got a burrow and it, it's a little bit bigger than the, the, the brother's burrow. Not much in there, but it's the same kind of thing. You, you either, she's either feeding in there or sleeping. And if you're in that burrow, then you're probably already food of hers. Um, or you're going to try and catch her while she's feeding or something, you know, right? So, um, this is this is where she is. She got little tunnels off that go other places. Now, Can we make that burrow like a hundred feet deep. Well, that's the thing. I I do it in the tail spire. I wonder if we make this up and play it, and we play it all the way through. I would probably start with the burrows being at the deepest layer, and then it would have to be how many of those different layers, like building that cake out, do I want to go? Because you only want them to be so big. Because even if my computer runs it well, you have to still be able to run run it and render it on anybody's computer that's playing it. That's the problem with the tail spire environment, right? So if you make it too big, you make it too deep, you give it too many layers, put these burrows down too far, or make them too intricate then they're just going to take up too many um too, too, much, too much processor yeah yeah memory on the computer to run it and because unlike the first level which is just a cake slice this one you actually want to have like the houses and the manor and everything on top and then the burrows underneath so maybe do this in two maps you mm, no, nah, but then you're switching in between who's on the burrow and no, what no, no, burrow like on another one. Like a map one. for the first half of the no, no, month and no, the second half. No, 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 no. You just uh, I, you'd probably do a map for each location. You'd probably yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of doing it for an entire month, you would probably do that's the manor and um the the manor and its courtyard and the church, and then the next map would be uh the this area forest. here, the farm plantation, uh, the orchards and the burrows. Sure that would be the next map and then the next one would be the actual um Gosh. abbey because the abbey is going to be huge um oh, yeah. all right uh yeah you probably have a little path for the forest you could probably attach that to the manor um and have that uh there Unlike. and then once you get out of the forest and the the um you'd probably want to attach the swamp to this part here anyway look let's not talk about that that's a long time away that's a lot of planning away what we need to talk about here is it, this is not father yeah this is the father burrow and he got a burrow underneath the actual gardens all right so there's you, the you pavilion did the i did do them the other way around because i'm mildly touched in the head all right <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was working on this first and I got most of the way through. So I'm like, I'm not going to rub it all out and draw. It's going to be messy and whatever. So, yeah, you have the, the father's um, under underneath the back here of the plantation. Where is our overall map? There's a hedge gardens that sit at the back here. And this is where um, underneath that pavilion, which you would want to sit at and have a nice little um, uh, bu uh, breakfast, right? Buffet. Um, Did we tell them about the stoneborn troll? Uh, that oh the troll the trolls over here at the beginning of the yeah there's a troll yeah there's yeah. a troll the troll guards the gate to this entire plantation on the on the other side over oh, here on yeah the, yeah over this here map side. needs to actually like, come like, out about that far to be honest it really needs to be a lot bigger um because we could only fit most of the the longhouse in um we could, couldn't we couldn't fit all of the blood pond in and yeah there's a gate and then and the troll sits here at the start of the gate here. Go. Okay, girl. So he doesn't want you to let you into the to the plantation. All right. But if you get past him, get past his gate, then yeah, you can go in and explore the longhouse. Realize that there's uh, burrows under everything. Uh, realize that bodies have been dragged and then under get there. Claustrophobia. Get claustrophobia. Have fights in burrows. And then get bunny phobia. Um, but anyway, yeah. So there's hedge gardens at the back here, right? So you have um, where is it? There, so we have gardens with um, flower rows in there and a pavilion, and uh, at the back of that is also a gateway. This is the gateway that leads off 
out of the plantation into the abbey okay there's a cobblestone path but it won't open up it's held by the magic of the area and that magic is linked to the vampires themselves you have to kill all the vampires when their hold over this area is broken and they're all dead then you'll be able to pass through this gateway go down the cobblestone path and explore what is actually really controlling this entire domain all right that's where the elithids are in the abbey under the sway of the elder brain all right that's yeah, what's on here yeah we made an elder brain okay. thing out of an abbey yeah we had to draw the abbey up that's what's in this booklet we'll show you this book because uh that's where we'll be starting Soon, from hopefully. next well yeah we're gonna get through a couple more rooms See, this is why we we need to do a catch-up episode. I wasn't sure I was going to cough, cough my lungs up. We've got a lot to get through, so we just need to focus. All right. So we have a burrows here underneath uh, the burrows here <laughs> underneath the um, underneath the gardens. Now the father's burrows is the biggest. This is where all the graves are. He watches over the actual graves for the father, the mother, the sister, and the sun bunnies. All right. Um, they have a shrine to their corrupted hair god. This is where they've taken one of the statues from their actual house and they brought it here and installed it as a shrine. It's a shrine but they the corrupted it, right? It's a and and of desecrated. The hair, hair god yes. is actually yes. the bugs bunny gone wild. Okay, sure. It looks exactly like Bugs Bunny as 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 Jekyll's creature. All right, sure. Okay, so the Jekyll Jekyll Bunny Beast is is there as the corrupted hair god. All right, um, I would love to explain that to people when they say, "What does it look like?" The statue, and it's like, "Well, you see Bugs Bunny, but he looks like this episode of uh, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde, and um, he's taking the potion, and he's all slobbering with teeth and blood dripping off it." Yeah, you could probably say that right he's got still got like living blood drips off his fangs and off his claws and it's unnatural how does it you know do that um yeah blood magic death magic all right anyway so that's the father burrow all right he that's where he's he drags people away to that's where he sleeps he guards over all of the graves place. and he's under the pavilion all right oh so these pages here is a lot of cobblestones. This is where we were talking about um, the path. This is where it opens up. You have to defeat all the Harangan har vampires, right? Um, and once you've done that, the, the bunny pies. The, the bunny pies. When when you've uh, destroyed their magic, you can pass through the gateway, head on down this cobblestone path that goes and goes and goes. All right. So it's got mountains on either side. They rise up really steep, like it's. Uh, this is this is definitely a railroad. This is a one-way path through. Um, through a mountain range, uh, cobblestones that lead. Okay, so cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. Go down the path. Follow the Following follow the path. Mile, right, follow, 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 follow the cobblestone. Path. I'll never do that again. Um, and then I stopped drawing the just cobblestones. I just keep drew the walls. Going. All right, let's keep going because you're gonna find. This is where you're gonna find like a a welcome board. Uh, that would have been like welcome to uh, Abbey um, of, of the um, living of place. something god, right? Um, does not matter now because it's all been vandalized, okay? Look, vandalized and broken. Yeah, yeah, it's all been scratched stuff. out, um, probably broken in half, bits of it missing. There's statues that were sitting here that probably were representations of whatever their religious deities were, and they're all smashed and broken, so they're unrecognizable. Um, well, you can see your life yeah. your feet, which are... All it, all it sort of shows is that you're walking down this cobblestone path and you're like, what, what's this area? And it's like, um, I think it's meant to be a sign. I, it looks like it says uh, in whatever language, maybe you could put it in common. Um, you could probably put no, it in, put it in harangan, harangan, right? No, the original language that was written on it, right? The sign um, would have had some regular common uh, language written on it that says, welcome to... Um, and the place's name established at um, watched over by Bishop so and so, right? Um, but all of that's pretty much destroyed and stuff. Okay, so it's probably clear that it's a marker, um, that it's meant to be showing that something is significant is coming, but there's no clear um, direction. It's not ab actually absolutely clear what's coming up. Anyway, more cobblestone path, all right, and we get to an old well, all right? Now, the idea is that we've had wells that have had, like, um, lava in it and dirty water and seawater 
and um, some of them have been clean drinking water places we, we where there's water. We had a well with clean drinking I'm water. I'm pretty sure we had like a natural well that came out of the side of one of the mountains that they could get clean water out of. It wasn't an, an actual well, but, could, but I know we have had a few of them, right? I mean, this you one... don't even need water in this dimension. You don't get hungry. Well, that's the thing. Time doesn't really pass, yeah. yeah. So you probably don't notice that, that the, you the actually only haven't time you gotten need to eat food or, is or if you're the wizard and you've gotten a point of exhaustion. No, the that. idea is you still need to take short and long rests. Oh, yeah. Because you still need that passage of time for healing and recovery. Um, although the GM might keep track of it, at the back they're keeping a tally of like, that's another day, that's another long rest, that's a short rest, there's another day, there's another long rest, there's another long rest, two short rests, right? Um, so... The, the DM could be like, when you come out the other side, you realize a whole three weeks, four, uh, two months have passed because you've cleared out the manor house and you've started crafting there. And then you've had exploring parties to find out what's beyond. So then you've then had forays and fought one or two of the vampires because you've gotten through the swamp. You found the home at one time that you're out adventuring and brought them back because now they're on side, right? So the idea is that time doesn't necessarily flow normally, but you still need to keep up long rests and short rests, yeah. right? Anyway, back to the well. This well is a dry well. It's actually a tunnel system, okay, that links to the abbey, all right, because there's another dry well within the abbey. Okay? AKA more claustrophobia. Yeah, so if you want to crawl down that way and try and infiltrate the place, then and you work out that that's an option, then that's fine. But it's... um. Otherwise, if they don't send people down there, they just think that it's got no water in it and it's a deep well. It's dry at the bottom. Um, whether they realize to go down there and explore, they, they might figure it out later. Because, uh, as you'll see, we do have a well um, mapped into the, the abbey. All right? The stables. Okay, and so the this is where you'll go down the cobblestone path and you'll, you'll eventually see buildings, okay, coming up and a gateway at the end of it. All right, so... We see that, yeah. All right, so you will see buildings and and a gateway here. All right, so this is actually a start, and you're going to see coming down that a long way away. You're going to see towers off in the distance, at least the two of them at the front. But there's four towers that sit off of this abbey in the corners. All right, so they come out of the little rooms, and then they got a tower, and this is where they would have different either. Um, uh, other offices they would have private chambers of some of the clergy folk they might have guards stationed in one of them so that they can come down quickly and um attend to any disturbances we right no, no. well no at the moment we do have so this is the thing we do have a guard house oh, because you were, you were elementals yeah well those are in the stables all right, so let's deal with it first. They come down the cobblestone path. They see that there's some buildings there, and they see that there's gates at the end, all right? So on one side, they have the guard house, which has um, some stores in there. It has a little office counter for, you know, you come in, you got to declare what your business here is at the Abbey, all right? And then they say, all right, well, we unlock the gateway for you, all right? And then there would have been um, an officer's actual, um, his own private office in there. So we got one guard house. And this is where in here we had the... Um, we had the moth folk, all right? So this is where we had um, at least three individuals that would have been ex-guards guarding here. And they can call from the other side, all right? On the other side is the stables. So this is where we got up to, all right? This was what would have been the sixth of this month, all right? So this is where we got all the way up to the outside of the abbey. This is where we would have gotten to the outside of the abbey. All right, and where we have, um, I just lost my chain of thought just for a second. Let me have a drink of water. Mm. Mm. Buckwheat. Okay. We have gone through everything as part of our catch up. We have talked about the different vampire brethren and we've seen where they have, um, held up in their plantation and turned it into a series of burrows and caves okay after you come out of that um because you've dropped the power of the spell that's holding the mist at bay um you can walk down the cobblestone path it leads to an abbey way and at the end of the cobblestone path they're going to see a guard shack and some stables in the guard shack they got mothmen which were the previous tenants have been experimented on by the elithids um, and turned into moth creatures that live in the darkness of the guard room. And on the other side, there's gore elementals, 
Um, were there pictures for gore elementals and, and moth folk? I'm, I'm not sure. Do you want to go and find, try and have a look at moth folk? They're on the page 224. And we'll see if before we close out, we can see if they had um, some moth folk to look at. And maybe some gore elementals, and we'll probably call it there. All right. Oh, that—that that was a picture for the moth folk. All right, what do moth folk look like? This. Oh yeah, great. Okay, they—they they look friendly, and they live in the guard house, in the in the dark recesses of the corners in the shadows, ready to um. Yeah. What do they do to you? Do they um? What are their abilities? Do they bite, scratch, uh, hug you to death? They—they they moth folk curse you. Oh, they have curses. Oh, that's better. Yeah. We like that. All right. Chooses one creature that must succeed. Uh, DC 13 wisdom saving throw on a success. The target is immune to the Mothfolk curse. For, yeah. On a failure, the creature is under effect of the Mothfolk curse for one minute. One under the cur curse. The target's eyes turn red and it is charmed and frightened of any Mothfolk it can see. Ah, oh, okay. So the it still the floor, All right. Get me away from these monsters hiding everywhere. Sure, sure. That makes sense. All right. So they'll try and fear you. All right. Get out of their guard shack. All right. And if you don't, then they'll they'll aggress you. Do they have multi-attacks or something? Are they uh, aggressive? Yep. How many, how many multi-attacks? Two? Two. Three? All right. So they got about six attacks between them. All right, fair enough. And on the other side, they have their gore elementals in their stables. Oh, uh, what, what did page? You, did you find what a uh, gore elemental page 137? They they will be what two of them that would have looked like horses. Ah, that, that's that's what they are. They're horses that have turned. Okay, so that creature looks like bits and pieces of something put together into a demon form. All right, so our gore elementals are going to look like bits and pieces of yeah, animals. Yeah, head is going to be stuck like together a with, with, a, with a horse, yeah, horse's head and stuff. Mm, sure, and walk Instead upright. We're going to have one. Are they going to walk upright like that? Yeah. They're going to be on all fours. It it would be it would be cooler if they walk upright. Sure, with a horse head and stuff. Okay, all right. So gore elementals hiding out in there. They can be called across. They might help with the um the moth folk. But uh, that's where we got to. After that, what we have to do is, all right, so let's talk about where we are. So we've talked about all our catch-up. There was a lot to talk about. Now, where are we going? And, and hopefully we can get back to that uh, tomorrow because we've got about five or six rooms to do. And this should be our, if we can get back to it tomorrow, we can do our introduction to the Abbey. Okay, so what does the Abbey look like? get past this this is how we're probably going to design it up but have buildings instead of chambers okay so over here past what we oh my previous word here so it looks very messy what does that look like on there oh it's hard to see we have that other piece up there we'll we'll sort of move it around the idea is that we do have an abbey we've designed it all out and we had oh, you, we've designed it off of one of the ones stuff. I, I have for each day to make sure that we can fit every room in and that we know where they're going now, each of the rooms have been keyed to be a normal room. So, for example, you have a glass house or the gardens, and then they're keyed to be like the corrupted form, and we'll talk about what the elithids or the elder brains have installed in here and what rooms they have. Like we have the dining hall turned into a transformation room. This is where you take your... your um, humies or your humanoids right your mortal creatures in there and this is where you put the tadpoles so you got a tadpole room this was an actual schoolhouse which is turned into tadpole pools right so this is where they're going to come in um in the children house sure and we have what was the um kitchens and the cellars has turned into different cleansing chambers where they can um purify the bodies and put them into liquids but and before they get them ready um to put tadpoles in them uh then we had like the different altars in the, in the actual church house where the actual um where all the you know the steeple would have been and all of the pews and everything and the pool sure well they now there are lithid pools right this is the main this has all been taken out the altars at either end have been desecrated and broken and they've turned it into pools where they gather and um hold concourse and and, um, you know, uh, decide what they're, they're doing and who they're torturing today. All right. So that's where we're going and it will be made prettier and be made more organized. But um, I think we've, I think we've done. Yeah. A lot of work got done while we were sick at the end there. We covered a lot. Um, hope it wasn't too much. How long did we go for recording? Can we even see? Oh, no. It's, it's on another screen. Um. Well, yeah, and I don't think I coughed too much. You didn't cough too much. No. We got through it. Um, all good. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye to um, Ben Barian and Gus. Yeah. All right.
uh, been too long. Thing. Yeah. Oh yes. No hassles down below. Um, in the comment section. Sure. Below. And we'll um, check you next time. Uh, stay weird and stuff. Where'd my cursor go? Can't can't um, finish up without a, a comment about the cursor. Stay weird. <laughs>